To Istanbul. We're here. It's finally uh, it's our last <clears throat> city stop in Turkey. We are currently outside of the Blue Mosque, the Sultan Samet Mosque. You know, what does it say right here? It Sultan Samet. To the visitors' attention, the garden and courtyard of the mosque are as important as the interior prayer hall in Islam. Follow the garment regulations shown in pictures inside of the mosque. If needed, attire shown in the picture can be borrowed free of charge. Do you have what this picture shows right here? I came prepared. <laughs> <laughs> when done, please return if borrowed. Don't be, tsh, don't be loud. No photography or videos during prayer. Are they praying? I think they're praying. Visitors must use visitors area only. No kissing, no picking flowers, no dogs, no littering, no smoking, no touching, no nothing. Yeah. underground reservoir named the Basilica of Sister. We're gonna check out the crying columns and the two Medusa heads that they have. It's a little chilly in here. It's really dark. It smells like damp darkness. Yeah. It costs us 20 liras, which is $5 each. There's two Medusa heads which are used as supports under the two columns at the edge right here. And it's kind of trippy because one of them is to the side and the other one is completely upside down. Uh, they, it's unknown where they were taken from. And it's one of the myths here, but it's... Alonzo thinks they just took it from somewhere and planted it there. I'm like, yeah, oh, they we're going to use support. it for support. They ran out of stones and they're like, all right, go get those Medusa heads from down the block. <laughs>
Sanjay kaç geldi? Gel sen gel. Okey lan. So something really important in Turkey is the chai, the tea. Everywhere you go, you're offered tea. After a meal, tea. For breakfast, tea. This is chai. You can put sugar in it or you could drink it alone. It's better if you drink it alone. Tea is like centered around a social circle. People just drink chai and chat and hang out. So after you eat, you drink your tea. Before you eat, you drink your tea. If you're not doing anything, just drink a tea. If you're doing everything, just stop and drink a tea. It's very important for everybody. We're walking into a traditional swirling dervish ceremony. Sufis are Muslim mystics whom connect and embrace the divine through dance. They act as a trance-like meditative state, appearing angel-like and transcendent. The poet Rumi is a well-known Sufi. We are here at the pier, the Emanonu, Emanonu, I think, I don't know. I'm just guessing, I see it everywhere. I just had a fish bread, fish sandwich from, where is this called? Denise Yeldizi. It was a sandwich with grilled fish, onions and lettuce. And you can put some like lemons, juice and some salt. And it's, I mean, it's pretty famous here. I'm not too big on fish and it's okay. I don't know if I'd have another one. It was 10 lira. And what does Maria think about the fish bread? Fish is murder. Fish are our friends. Fish are friends, not food. <laughs> All right, but it's real interesting. We're overfishing. We it's, real, it's real interesting. They uh, cook them on the boats as the boats rock. And there's a few of them. There's three or four of them. I don't know which one's the most famous one. They say all of them are real famous. But now we're gonna go get some donuts. Oh, they also sell uh, pickles and little red juices and little red cups. Uh, those are good. Yeah. They're pickles and little uh, turnips. Uh, yeah, they're good. I like this. No trip to Turkey would be complete without a Turkish bath. This place has been open since 1741. Alright, so I just finished up with my Turkish bath. It's very worth it. Uh, it's like a whole spa treatment. A little strange if you're not used to it, but 
it's like five star service really relaxing it's like a slash chiropractor slash massage slash bath so i definitely recommend if you are exhausted from traveling and you have the time and the extra spare change to spend in Istanbul. What was once a Coptic Christian church turned Muslim mosque is now an interfaith museum displaying the two religions coexisting alongside each other. The historic battles, fire restorations, and transitions that the Hagia endured have a unique story to tell. Presently, thousands of visitors flock to the withstanding piece of history that highlight the significant essence of both faiths. Okay, that is all from Turkey, Turkia. I love you, Turkey. We had a great time here. Prices were very cheap. The, the food, food was good. Was really good. The people were very nice. The history was amazing. But we did struggle with the language barrier. This was probably the first country where we had to show them emojis of what kind of food we wanted. I can't even say thank you. Or it was hard. Thank you is to check you to check you Something like that. Teşekkür ederim. All right, so this is a trip of many firsts. So this, we're leaving the country on a ferry. Just got our passport stamps. We're heading to Greece. All right, we'll see you in 30 minutes. <laughs>